Hello, my friends, and welcome. It is wonderful to have you here. I am Morjax. We are playing Mordheim City of the Damned, and our hero, Uriant, has this freaking badass arm mutation. He got Executioner, which is this sweet-looking axe, and it is, uh, it reduces the enemy's armor absorption by 3% for one turn stackable. And now with this uh, armband that we have, he's got, apparently he's got an armband on that hand because he can no longer, longer wield a weapon. Uh, his attacks cannot be parried, which is pretty nice. So I've got this hit chance plus four on the mace, so we've got better chance to hit and we cannot be parried. So I took a look at today's missions and I'm continuing with my uh, artificial restriction that I can only send out scouts once and I don't even need to because we've got a walk in the fog. So it is wordstone rush, hard uh, difficulty and average wordstone on the map. So that should be pretty good. I'm gonna load up and see you for deployment. Here we are at deployment. Ooh, we are up against a Chaos Warband. Oh, sweet Jiminy. That's what daddy likes. They have spawned way the heck over there and all the wordstone is right near us. That is absolutely wonderful. Uh, I wanna put my heroes right here. Radley is gonna go right there. Kanor is going to go on the far side. And Uriant is going to go right up the middle. Sharpedin is going to go right here. And Baldbert is going to go... I suppose that's technically a little closer, isn't it? All right. Ooh, I got a good feeling about this, guys. Nice. We're going to get to that wordstone so flippin' fast. I love it. Oh, we can't quite make it there. Okay, let's hide behind this thing. And I guess we can... Eh, I don't really want to do that because it's a 20% chance, 1 out of 5, that we're going to get cursed. So I don't really want to cast spells if I can help it. Oh, there it is. Ooh, look at that. I thought it was over here for some reason, but it's all right there on the other side. Now they have deployed, basically the, I, I know they've deployed in this street because it's a walk in the fog. They might've gone like up here a little bit, um, but we should be able to get here uh, basically turn two, start at turn three, and they can move like maybe to here, turn one, to here, turn two. So. It's going to be a little bit close. They're probably going to meet us there. But um, I'm not even mad. Because I think we're going to get there first. Kanor. And let's go up here. This seems like a, maybe a good thing. We'll go up top. Uriant. Uriant is one of my Wordstone runners. He does have light armor on, so he's going to be a slight bit slower. But, I'm, I mean, we're so close. We're going to get there. Sharpedin. Can I sneak around here? Thank you. Try to get as much uh, movement as I can. Put him in an ambush. It's not going to matter, but let's do it anyway. All right. You know, one thing I, I will say absolutely about lower rank levels, uh, lower rank matches rather, is that there's not a lot of guys and um, Baldbert's going to run this way. True to his name, he is bald. Uh, there's not a lot of guys and so the turns go pretty fast and I do like that. I know that the computer matches how many guys you have, so it's actually potentially a valid um, tactic to not bring, like even when you have 10 guys available, not to bring them all because you might bring your uh, your top guys into the match and uh, it, it becomes less of a clown car type of thing. But you if you guys know me at all, you know that I am all about the clown cars. Oh, look at this. Yes. Oh, it's even better. It's even better, you guys. This is a sheer cliff right here. Freaking sweet. They got to climb up here. My archers are going to have a heyday. Shooting them to ribbons. Oh my gosh, you guys. Holy crap. That couldn't have been better. 
date. Absolutely ideal. Absolutely ideal. We're gonna get the Wordstone Rush, no problem. Um, I didn't want to do that. I want to get the big one first. So, you may notice, you might or might not notice, but uh, if the camera's a little jerkier today, it's because, Objective number one, I got, see, right there, I'm jerking all over the place. Number one, I got a new mouse pad, and it's much lower friction. It's uh, kind of a hard, um, hard mouse pad, whereas my other one was a soft mouse pad. And so, it, I'm not used to how easily Objective I can move my mouse around. Objective. And number two, it is cold in my office because I am a in a uh, central northern U.S. climate, and it's, it's like high of like zero Fahrenheit <laughs> this week. It's really cold. So uh, my office is definitely on the cold side. I'm going to move him over here just so he's out of the way. Actually, you know what? No, I want a weapons of destruction first. I can't reach anybody. I'm not going to do it. Never mind what I just said. Sure. Put him in an ambush. Why not? So yes, I'm gonna try to keep that to a minimum with like the whole shaky camera thing. Um, I'm still getting used to the mouse pad. I think that's most of it. Oh, bald Bert, you're so bald. I originally had these guys in the blue outfits, like the carnival outfits with the um, with the big smile. I I like this smiley little face mask thing. It's really, I think, really uh, intimidating looking. I like it a lot pretty sweet but I, I decided on red because red is also intimidating even though I'm playing against AI I think it makes me look pretty fearsome oh man don't you guys think that these stitches would be uncomfortable on your face like on your nose I wouldn't want that why wouldn't you stitch it up the side like there's literally no reason not to do that <laughs> I guess different strokes for different folks See, there goes my mouse again. All right, Kenora, I actually don't want to go up here. I'm going to run back down. And we'll go we'll go this way. That'll be good. I think I need pretty much everyone to be grabbing Wordstone. That one. Okay, he's got three slots. <laughs> So I'm just going to go ahead and grab what I can here. That camera swinging around is a little disorienting when you're switching targets. Man, his new axe is just totally badass. I kind of wanted to develop uh, Uriant here as a shield user. I've had a lot of luck in the past with, uh, with these guys being just beasts of... Uh, you can use like parry counter attack type builds and they're just like monsters. It's amazing. But can we see anyone? Oh yeah, we see him down there. All right, we're going to put him right here in well, stick him right here in an ambush, I guess. But uh we we've been forced into a two-hander build because he got that arm mutation. And honestly, the odds of getting an arm mutation are pretty high. If you didn't get an arm mutation, you'd get like, you'd get your claw feet, you'd get like a head mutation and a body mutation, like the eye or thousand eyes, um, which would be good too. It's just, that's not what we, that's not what we got. All right. Um, do I want to do it that way? You know, I don't think I do. All right, Baldbert, you're going, you're going due south here. There we go. That actually got us a little further. All told. Okay. So I think they should be climbing up, and I think it should be pretty easy just to swoop in and uh, make pretty short work of them. I've got, a, I've got a beer here to celebrate, and so I'll take a sip of that. Skull! But I can't have too much, because then I'll be lightly sauced and lose my tactical advantage. See, look, these ones are sewn up the side. That's the way to do it. But that'd be rough on your ear. A new round. You'd either That's want it like on your, like right in front or right behind your cheek. That's what I would desire. Okay, we can't target anyone else. Does he have a 
different weapon. I want to get him with a bow. I remember they can equip longbows. Oh my gosh, I'm having a, a mess with the keys here. So he does not have anything else going on with his, uh, with his offhand. Or with his, with his other weapon set. Alright, we're going to put this on him. 20%. No curses, please. Thank you. And we'll stick him right here. You know what? I'm going to put him, keep him right here. And just delay. See what happens. Because we don't need our movement. We're just going to park on this wordstone until we can pick it up. I hope they come for me. Yeah, this is fantastic. We were closer to the wordstone. It was all in one place. And they got to climb up this infinite wall. I hope they take some fall damage. That'd be delightful. We got this locked down. It's on hard difficulty and uh, it's not even going to be that hard. Yeah, see, so this guy's got it stitched up the side. That's the way to do it, I say. That just looks uncomfortable. The stitches are huge on his hood. Let's see if... He just got stitches on his armor. Delay once again. And Radley. Good old, good old Radley. Okay, how many slots do you have, sir? Three. So I want to position you where you could get all three, ideally. But I'm going to grab these two, and then I think I'm going to stick them in an overwatch right here. I think everyone should be able to access those wordstone shards still. Objectives updated. I gotta get Radley with uh, fast reload. So I did get some comments uh, from, from Hydra and actually a few other people as well that um, it's difficult to run ranged early on. And I would agree with that. It is difficult, but you know, I like a little challenge and honestly, I want to get my archers leveled up. So I don't feel too bad about it. It can be tricky if you're not careful, for sure. For sure it can be. No, don't overwatch. Gather wordstone. Objective complete. Let's see, see how many blue pills we've got left after that. We got a bunch. All right, we're gonna grab that. So we've got four wordstone left on the map after we pick this one up here. Warp effect, yes, fine. Armor absorption, I really don't care. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're holding 11 out of, or 12 now out of 15. 12, really, 12 out of 15? No, 11 out of 15. So we're gonna back off here and take that overwatch. This is great. This is like spoon fed to us. Fantastic. Gonna delay here too. I want to be able to swoop in and, and clown car on anyone who gets up. So that's it's a little bit boring, I guess, uh, in terms of like how tactics go, but it's honestly it's pretty effective. Grab that one first. Ooh, you can grab four. All right, this is gonna do it. Sharpenden's gonna have the uh, the word stone. So Baldbert's Baldbert is gonna be our sacrificial lamb because he's not he's the only one not carrying any word stone. So he's going to go, I think I'm going to put him right up against the fence, straight ahead right here. Not Sharpedin, but Baldbert, our other, uh, our, du our axe wielder, not our two-handed sword wielder here. Warp effect, yep, that's fine. And honestly, I, part of me wants to go fight them, but I am at such an advantageous position here, there's really no reason to. Put him in an ambush like this. Wow, he can move really far. I need to remember to check what their passive abilities are. I don't remember offhand. See, there's just a couple of guys left. So I guess I'll just stick him in an ambush. Ooh, 34% chance. It's just, it's too high. It is too high. 34% chance is like one out of three. 
All right, Baldbert is our sacrifice. You should be able to reach a pretty good section here. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, Skull. Mm. I hear you, sucker. I think he fell. And then he took a stance. Ha! Didn't make it up. Beautiful. Beautiful. A new round has started. All right, here's what we're doing. We're doing weapons of destruction. Radley is 18 to 25. Sharpenin is 39 to 51. Here's 31 to 41, but he can attack twice. So that's going to be more damage coming from him. No curse, please. Dumbfounded. We are so stupid. Okay, affected by stupidity for three turns. That is unfortunate, but I think we're going to manage just fine. <laughs> that's tough. That's the problem with having a caster early on like this. What do you do, right? You take it. Oh, hello. Hello. Sword and board, huh? Get overwatch. Ojin. That's their leader. Swift charge, you jerk. Get him, Baldbert. Counter, counter. Now, why can't we counter? Why couldn't we counter? I don't understand. I know that counters always don't always trigger, but... I feel like I should have been allowed. All right, they're at 50 morale. Radley. Good old Radley. Let's take a look at our... That's not what I wanted. Uh, toughness, alertness, shield, engaged. That's a good 50% reduction right there. All right, I mean... There we go. Take the shot, I guess, right? Not like I'm doing anything else. 63 is not great. Two out of three. Oh, right in the butt cheek. He's got an arrow in the knee, one right in his back sticking through his torso, and one in the butt cheek. Life is good. Um, Should we switch? I think this is going to be pretty close quarters. So Kenora is going to switch. Oh, Urient. Here he comes, buddy. Put those weapons of destruction to good use. And he's going to go on the far side here because he can. <laughs> and that'll free up space for a charge with... Uh, who do we have here? Baldbert. So that means uh, Sharpedin is going to be able to get a charge off. If we even need it. I think we're going to take him down if we can hit this again. And take him down. Nice. Right on. Baldbert will be able to loot his corpse. Uh, Uriant, I'm going to back off to right here. Man, fantastic. Fantastic. Wonderful. Okay, we're going to take that, take that. We don't need that. We've got all the wordstone in our pocket. They don't stand a chance. And I'm going to delay. I'd, I'd love to get a charge off if they climb up here. And I know uh, their 30 morale hero tried to climb up last round. So that took them down 17 morale from 50 down to 33, which is great. Mm -hmm. I heard you. He just fell twice, you guys. Oh, no, there he is. Oh, Baldbert. You got squeezed. Ambrose. All right. I gotta... I gotta... Oh, Baldbert's down. I was gonna say, I gotta get him out of there. <laughs> Ambush. Miss. Jeez, you jerk. Ambrose is getting good rolls. All right. Clonkar on Ambrose. That's what's... That's what's on the menu. That took us down from 50, I think 54, down to 40. Started. Hey, success. 
All right, I want to attack because when he is not engaged in combat, he suffers from stupidity. So I want to get him in here. Parry fail. You have no more parry. Jeez, I've got like blood splatter all over my arms. Either that or I'm like really spotty. Nice. Down to half, half health. Take that dodge. Usually I don't like my leader in combat, but... Ooh. I think disengage costs two red. I'm gonna delay. Because I want to get Sharpened in, in there really, really badly. Or Uriant, I guess, would be a better choice. Yeah, Uriant is gonna be the better choice. Oh, you can see his teeth in his hood. I see him in there. Dental work. Dental plan. What's this guy's name? Kanor. Dental plan. Kanor needs braces. Radley. Radley's gonna shoot. I like that it doesn't care whether you're engaged with one or two or ten people. You, you can't be engaged with ten people, but... I mean, you could if you're, like, a Mormon and into polygamy, but... You know what I mean. The, the debuff for shooting into combat is, is flat, no matter how many people are fighting. That's what I really mean to say. Mormons aside, polygamy aside. Alright. That seems like a... I don't know, like a cover band name. The Polygamous Mormons. Is that a band? I hope. Maybe. Probably not. But it should be. Oh, we can't... We can't, uh... Alright. Oh yeah, Sharpenden's already here. He's already engaged. Derp. Crit, please. Nope. Alright, well, Ambrose is already... He's doing pretty bad. Take that dodge. I think we're going to have to crank up our, um... Our dodge. I think it's better to go... With, uh, dodgy for two-handed. And, and that was recommended to me... By one of my view heirs. Oh, can I get in right there? Please let me get in right there. Oh, come on! I'm standing on it! Give it to me. I want it. I want it. Alright, we'll stick him in an ambush. To protect Radley. All alone, fail. Get wrecked. And we don't suffer su from stupidity with our leader because we are engaged. He's going to be at the top of the round. Let's see if this guy gets up here. Nope. Started. Awesome. Nope, get missed. You're going to get chopped, dude. Don't even try to resist it. I have a skull in the middle of my staff. You cannot withstand the power of my chop. Okay. Right on. Ah, uh, delay. Doing the same tactic here. We can't clown car anymore on that guy. Ooh, I hear you climbing, bro. Hey, what? Okay, dodge fail. Not a big deal. I saw him. Oh, he's over there? Interesting. He's in the building over there, I think. I guess I'm too close to this guy to shoot him. So we're going to um, take down Ambrose. Take him down. There it is, right in the knee. Thank you, Radley. You the main man. And we'll switch weapons for good measure. And the turn there. All right, we can get a charge off, but I want to maneuver for ultimate clown car. 65% chance is not good. But we will get a little more damage if we do it. Yes! Not that much more damage, because he's just an archer. But a little bit more damage. And you, sir, get chopped. I'm Boba, the fat. He's down 2% armor, so this will wipe out his armor. Executioner. And the dodge is what we want. Yeah, he's done. Sharpenin's going to finish this sucker off. I want the better hit chance rather than the more damage. There it is. Beautiful. Oh, no fair. This dude, this uh, hero over here has got uh, claw feet. That's, that's great. Extra movement speed is fantastic. Shield dagger spear. I don't think I care. 
I'd rather have the word stone. It's better than whatever whites he might try to give me. All right, we'll put him in a dodge right here. We got, yeah, we'll probably have to crank up agility on this. Hey, route test failure on these two-handed guys. That was absolutely fantastic. We had that win spoon-fed to us. Decisive victory. Even though we, we lost one dude. Hey, we got extra rewards too. Nice short bow. A blue short bow. You have proven yourself worthy of the dark blessings of chaos. Mm -hmm. Each victory oh, you render to the pumped. Shadow Lord brings you that much closer to your destiny. Oh, my destiny. All right, Beeblebrox, decisive victory, underdog, optional objective, surviving. So that is six, seven experience. Fantastic. Nice. Uriant. MVP, well done, Uriant. Look at that, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, uh, nine experience. Fantastic. That executioner mu uh, mutation is really That's serving right. us well. Radley is ranked two. Very nice. Kanor is rank 2. Very nice. Sharpeden. Man, it is so much... Oh, full recovery! Good roll. Fantastic. Baldbert, rank 1. Awesome. Man, that was that was wonderful. Rank 2 warband now. Oh, extra hero slot too. Man, this could not have been better for us. Wonderful, wonderful. Staff clothing, hammer, short bow, great sword, wordstone fragment, wordstone shard, wordstone cluster. We're up to 156. I forgot to check how much wordstone we were at a moment ago, but uh, I'm pretty sure we're doing pretty good. Let's take a peek here. What's our shipment? We need 100 weight. We got 156. No problem. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and this is going into in intelligence and what does dodge that's agility yeah agility um you know i eventually i want to have a bow let me see if i can equip that short bow i don't think i oh i can i can interesting but honestly i want the blue on my on my shooter yeah, it does straight up more damage. 15 to 21 versus 21 to 27. And uh, it is faster. And we get a crit chance instead of a hit chance. That's pretty good. We're doing it. Little shrimpy short bow. Now our leader, I think, can equip that bow. Nice. That's wonderful. Now he's going to be switching between weapon and ballistic skill. So I think I'm going to go into accuracy with him. And we'll build him that way. Um, Uriant is... Let's see. Um, he has got to go for dodge. He's got to get out of dodge. Because he cannot parry. I guess if I gave him a sword, he could parry. But what's to say he's not going to get another mutation down the road? And I need to think about what I want to do here for alertness is initiative, intelligence is spell damage, morale, psychological. I'll have to sit on that and think about what I want to do. And then he has a lot of accuracy to start with. So I think I'm going to be... Let me see here. Let's look at the passive skills. Fatality needs 12 accuracy. Underdog 12. Deep Wounds need, needs 15, so we can't master that. But we could get the other versions of it. And Weapon Skill is Flash Parry, Hit and Run, Retaliation, Anticipation. Um, let's take a peek at the active skills. Web of Steel. Again, I don't want to put any points into parry because we could get an arm mutation. And I don't want to, I don't want to risk it. So I think we are going to go for accuracy here. Crank that up. And Radley, yep, you're going straight into Ballistic Skill and into Agility to get the extra dodginess. Agility here and Increased Initiative. Mental Conditions or Morale. Let's go for an even, even distribution. All right, Sharpeden. 
you're going for weapon skill and you need more dodginess so that's going into agility and Resk has not leveled up yet Baldbert is going into weapon skill and uh, leadership he cannot flee intelligence alertness it would be nice to have him a little up range resistance Oh, hmm. Magic resist, stun resist. I'm gonna put it in intelligence. I do believe. Oh, we got another point. Um, let me take a look at the skills quick. I have to admit, I haven't planned out what I want to do with this warband super duper far. I would love to get knowledge Mordheim and get an extra movement range with these guys. I'm doing that. I'm going to crank intelligence on, on this uh, this guy here. So I think that's all of our points, except for Uriant, who I need to think about. Um, I think I want stun resistance. Well, we need a little more leadership. Three is really low. All right, that does it for the Blighted. Our new Possessed Warband. Hope you're enjoying it so far. If you are, go ahead and leave me a like. And uh, I would love to hear from you what you think of the Warband so far. If you uh, have some thoughts on the way I'm building these guys or what have you, feel free to chime in. And we will see you next time for more Mordheim City of the Damned.